presentation which we have just created, the different genres of video games make up the columns of our chart and then the rows, effectively the height of each of the columns, represents the sum of EU sales. You will have noticed though that we did not explicitly ask for a bar chart to be plotted. Based on the contents, Tableau decided that a bar chart was the best visualization for this data, but we need not stick with this default selection. If you zoom in on the marks menu, you will notice that a bar chart has been selected automatically. However, we can expand this menu and select some other means of representing the data. Rather than bars, let's see what happens if we select squares instead. And instead of bars which extend from the bottom of the chart all the way to the top, we now have squares which effectively mark the sum of EU sales. So again, this visualization does tell us what exactly the sales were for each of the genres of games, but this information is conveyed by the position of each of the squares representing the genres rather than the length of the bars. From the mark section, we can also render circles instead of squares and we effectively have the same visualization but with a little circle where the squares were. And if you were to choose shape instead, well, by default, some hollow circles are rendered, but this is not the best use of this mark. We will see exactly how it can be used in just a little bit, but before that, I'll draw your attention to the fact that so far, we have only worked with two of the fields in our data set at any given time. That is, all of our charts have plotted data in two dimensions. In fact, Tableau visualizations can allow us to convey information in multiple dimensions. Intuitively, you will recognize that the X and Y axes can be used to plot two dimensions. However, we can make use of other details such as shapes and colors in order to convey additional pieces of information. As an example, consider that the total sales for action games in the EU region is about 525 million. But what if we wanted to break down the sales number depending on the platform on which the game is played? That is, whether it is played on a Nintendo Wii, an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3. These are just some of the platforms which are represented in our data set. And in order to get an idea of each of these, let's just drag the platform field and then add it over to the shape. When we do this, we will have three different fields which will be conveyed in our data. So let's just proceed with this in order to see what this looks like. 